Okay, I was hoping to do something a bit more expressive, but I, I can't think of anything, so I'm gonna take this out and give it a glaze there. Um, I know that's sort of just laziness, but a glaze layer in the sky and a glaze layer on the water. And hope it doesn't destroy it because I love this painting. And I'm thinking a greyish glaze across the sky and over some of the distant mountains and a greenish glaze across the water. That's the plan. Let's see how it works out. I did it again. I um, forgot to dust the painting before I glazed it. So it catches all these cat hairs and dust. But um, I'll learn someday. You know? Um, I've put this grey bit of white across the sky. I mean, glazes are beautiful. I really should have been using them years ago. But um, now, a bit of green. See what happens. We can call it a day on this one. And move on to something more expressive. Okay, the green glaze didn't work too bad. It wasn't as good as the sky, but it's there. Maybe some buff titanium down here, very little, apply dry to the texture, see what happens. Okay, I've <clears throat> added a little bit of blue to the glaze. It is slightly more successful than the green. It has livened it up a little bit, uh, not too much. Anyway, I can't find any buff titanium, so I'm going to try and make it by mixing some yellow ochre into that very light grey and white. Okay, I've been working the glaze a little bit, given the waterline some definition. It, um, Maybe working. And the sand on the beach wasn't as successful as I hoped, but it's. And I'm not too bad. It involves some more thinking, I think. Okay. The glazes are done. The sky glaze is quite simple, just. A bit of white and grey and oil. I had to put more in to do. Yeah, water glazes, greens, blues, whites. Yeah, I think it was a success though. And then I just scuffed up the sand shoreline with um, a homemade buff titanium. Overall, not so bad, now it's time for lunch.